Good morning, Senior Stoner fans. This is The Real Senior Stoner for your card e-rig dab of the day. We're not going to forget about that today. But I do want to talk about what happened yesterday and what got me here. So, without further ado, I was an idiot yesterday. I did much too much walking yesterday. And I'm going to pay for it today and throughout the weekend. I'm going to struggle to get to my son for lunch. And... I'm going to probably shut it off the rest of the weekend. Yeah, I really have got no choice. Now, I'm not able to play catch-up. I told you that. I've learned that you can't play catch-up from one day to the next. Yesterday caused the negative for this morning. But because you rest doesn't mean you can do more tomorrow, if that makes any sense. It's not like uh, a bank, you know, where if you don't put the money in today, you can put the money in tomorrow. So you've got to be smart while you're doing it. And today, I'm probably going to let Mrs. Stoner do the driving. She always says, can I drive? And I say, no, 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 no. You know what? Let Mrs. Stoner help. Stop being stubborn. She loves you, and she wants to help out. It's all she wants to do. She wants to help out so you have less pain. And you are so stubborn, you say, oh, no, I'll do it. So you know what? Today... Let Mrs. Stoner do the driving. I'm serious. It's a small thing, but it'll make you feel better in the long run. I think what you have to do when you get like this is you have to let people help you. Those of us who have people that want to help, we've got to let them help. And it's very hard. You know, people think it's no-brainer and they don't even take it, you know, think about it when somebody is with you and, you, you know, they're going to offer you help. But... If you're a person like me, it's hard to accept help. Very hard. You're almost going to say to everyone, I'm fine, don't worry. And then handle it on your own when they're gone. And that goes back to that ego thing we talk about. And it's not good to have one uh, in my situation, but it's still there. I'm working on it. So that I don't let the ego run things, I let smart decisions run things. So without further ado, let's have our Carter E. Rig, dab of the day with our Gorilla Glue number four. Get that puppy cooking. And you know what? I keep saying this all the time. We do the best we can. We're all just people, and we do the very best we can. Sometimes you just can't make things change. I've always been a person that wanted everyone to get along. My sister said that was not possible. She always she was four years older than me and passed away, unfortunately. But she used to say to me, you always want things happy. You always want people to get along. People can't always get along. So I want things to work out. I want A, B, C, and D to kind of be in order. They're not always. There's chaos. Up here it goes. Up here it goes. Over there it goes. The body acts in funny ways. You can't plan the body's reaction. Especially if you have issues. Those of us who have issues probably already think we know what our body's going to do under certain circumstances. But we're not always right. For me, example. Because I don't think about it actively and I just go ahead and do, subconsciously I think I'm normal. When I consciously think about it, I really restrict myself a lot. But the reflex, the subconscious, is that senior stoner is fine, everything is normal. So I think what has to happen, I think it must take time. You know, time, it's almost like you have a piling in the ground and that big thing is on top of it going boom. Boom, 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 boom. It's called a pile driver. Boom, boom, boom. And eventually, eventually, takes it 100 feet into the ground. Eventually, big steel girders. Maybe it's like that here. Maybe what has to happen is I have to keep hitting myself in the wall. You know, I run into the wall every single time until I stop hitting myself in the wall and I'm going to realize, wait a second, either the wall's gone or I found a spot with no wall. 
think that's what happens. And I think the other thing to remember is I'm a person that doesn't take no for an answer. I'm sure many of us are. You know, God forbid a doctor tells us something we don't want to hear. We go, that's not what's happening, doc. I'm that kind of guy. I'm a denial guy, but not an actively denial guy. I'm a guy that says subconsciously, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Even though on the outside I'm saying, oh my God, oh my God, when will the pain stop? Oh my God, when will this stop? It's hard to be both. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to have the personality that you have when you're that kind of person and be faced with these things. Does that make any sense? Because my natural reaction is to do the wrong thing. I'm sure many of us are like that. Our natural reaction is to do the absolute opposite of what the best thing is for us in these situations. So it's a hard fight. It's like a salmon swimming upstream. So we do the best we can. And that's what I want to say to you all. Do the best you can. Have a great Saturday, everybody. It's the real senior stoner back at you. Do the best you can.